Linda Mate grew up with a love for motorbikes. She says she wanted to challenge the stereotype that bikes were for men. However, her first attempt at riding one almost got her injured, so she quit. Like you, you can you can easily get your leg somewhere bent because of the exhaust pipe. When you are getting down and you get off from, uh, at that side of the exhaust pipe, yeah, you get you get yourself bent. In 2019, Marty was introduced to electric bikes, reigniting her childhood interest. She has since been working as a bike courier in Ghana's capital, Accra. She says electric bikes are easier to operate than gasoline-powered motorcycles. The challenge, she says, is keeping her bike charged. But with the kind of work we do, the deliveries and stuff, if you charge at home and uh, you're out in town and you run, you run out of battery, then you have to go back home and charge. No. Instead, Marty swaps low batteries for fresh ones at these stations run by Ghanaian battery company Koffa. Motorcycles play a vital role in Africa, moving people and goods, especially in areas with limited public transport and road infrastructure. Industry experts say e-bikes are cheaper to run and pollute less than traditional motorcycles. But the World Bank says about half of sub-Saharan Africa is without electricity, and even places with electricity would struggle with a big increase in electric vehicles, according to Koffer founder Eric Nygaard. They are struggling with this in the Western world. So when you plug, imagine everybody comes home at 5 o'clock and plugs their cars in. I mean, what it does is it creates an extreme electricity demand spike, which is quite intense. Um, and so putting that pressure on the current grid sy systems across Africa would not work. Instead, Coffers batteries store electricity from solar panels and the national grid. Users can swap depleted batteries at any time at locations across the capital without putting pressure on the national grid. After two years of operation, Kofa swaps about 200 batteries in Accra daily. And these batteries are almost like packets of energy that you could use anywhere. Kofa says their batteries can also be used for household appliances and even power generators when the national grid goes down. The company says their batteries could potentially feed power back into the national grid to support the electricity company of Ghana, or ECG. And so let's say you're in an area of Accra that they're going to do a, a, a like ECG is going to shut it off. Potentially, we could support the local distribution network and say, we will provide energy from our station to you. Koffer says they hope their technology will always make energy accessible and drive a quick adoption of e-vehicles in Africa. Sena Anutod, VOA News, Accra, Ghana.